What's up, you guys? How's it going? I am Adam Orellana. I'm a pastor at Center Point, and I'm really thankful to all of those who have been able to watch these videos, to all of those who have been able to keep up with these videos. Um, I know that I haven't made them every week, and it's just, you know, there's so much going on, and just life is crazy. Um, and I could come up with a bunch of excuses, but really the only excuse, the only real excuse that I could give is just at the end of the day, I end up so tired with my two girls and uh, running around and with work and everything. And as I was thinking about what to make this video about and really just trying to come up with a way to continue to talk to you guys, um, not just about what's happening in the world around us, but what really I feel like God wants me to share and what he puts in my heart. I realized that I was using so many times my life as an excuse to not do the things that I should be doing. I was using my life or my family, my girls, my work, whatever it is, the blessings that God has given me, I was using them as an excuse to not do some of the things that I should have been doing. And so today, really, I don't want to spend too much time talking about um, all sorts of things and all I really want to do is just give you a, a encouragement. I want to remind you that you are not alone during this time. I want to remind you that even though things might feel overwhelming and even though you might feel like you're alone, I, I guarantee you that that is not what is happening. Probably what's happening is that maybe your perspective of your life and your perspective of the situation that you're in uh, makes you feel that way. Maybe the, the uh, decisions that are happening or, or the things that you see on the news or on your social feed are just overwhelming and they make you feel alone. But I want to remind you that you're not. You're not alone because just me, you know, through this camera, I'm telling you, I'm going through some of the same things that you're going through. I'm going through some of the same issues that some of you might be going through. And, and it's easy to feel lonely during this time. It's easy to feel depressed during this time. It's easy to just feel anxious. It's easy to feel stressed. It's easy to feel all of those things during this time. What's not easy to do, what's not easy to do is take a second, take a moment, take a breath and really look at your life and pay attention to all of the blessings that God actually has given you. Like I said at the beginning, man, I, I use so much of, of the good things that I have as an excuse to do the things that I don't want to do. And it's not that I don't want to do this, it's just that, you know, so many things uh, take up time, you know, when, when you have school or you have work, you have family, maybe you have a spouse, a significant other, a person you talk to all the time, that takes time and energy away from us. And so to actually sit down and maybe do our, home, our homework or do our work or, um, or clean our room. I mean, that's something I'll, I'll be honest right now. My room is messy. There is clothes that I need to pick up and clean up that's been there for longer than I want to admit. But so many times I use God's blessings. I use the goodness of my life as an excuse to not do the things that I don't want to do. And so I, I want to ask you and I want you to think about what are some of those good things in your life? You know, some people don't have a family. Maybe you do have a family that you're surrounded by. Some people don't have a job right now. Maybe you do have a job that's taking up a lot of your time. Some people aren't able to do any sort of school. And maybe you are doing school that's taking a lot of time. Are you able to change your perspective and look at your life and say, man, I actually have a lot of good things going on. And I'm using those good things as an excuse maybe to not do the things that I don't want to do. It's really important during this time to remind ourselves that we have a lot of good things. And even if you don't have all the things that I've mentioned, maybe you're like, you know what? I don't have a good relationship with my family. It's not something people that I want to be around or, um, or maybe you're uh, in a place where, you know, maybe you're not working and you want to be working or you're not doing school and you want to be doing school. Or you don't have a significant other or this or that. And you're just you're searching. Maybe maybe you're you're falling into a deep depression or an anxiety or a sadness that is that is just overwhelming, that has overcome you. I want to tell you right now that you're not the only one going through that. But that doesn't mean that what you're going through isn't important or isn't real. It just means that what you're going through, other people have gone through. And so even though you might not be able to look at your life and look at the blessings that God has given you right now, even though right now you might not be able to take that second to just take a step back and look at the things because, you know, the depression or the stress, the anxiety is just so overwhelming that it doesn't let you do that. But if you could just for a moment, just for a moment right here, just for the sake of this video, if you could just pay attention to the things that God has given you, 
He's given you life. He's given you food. He's given you breath. You have clothes on your back. It's likely that you're under a roof. It's likely that there are people around you that still care about you, that are willing to listen to you, that are willing to hear from you. It's likely that there are so many things, whether it's music or it could be movies or shows or, or going out and hiking or biking, whatever it is, or cars. Or, there's so many things that can still bring you pleasure, that can still bring you happiness. And those are the things that God puts in our hearts to remind us that we are alive. So, yes. You might be overwhelmed, you might be depressed, you might be stressed, you might be anxious, you might be all of those things combined and even more, but you are still alive. You still have life. And as long as you have life, as long as you're able to breathe, as long as you're able to look outside your window and see the sun come up in the morning, you still have hope. And as long as you have hope, you can still fight for the things that you want in your life. You can still fight for the things that you need in your life. And God will be there and he will help you to it and through it. So this week, this is all I have to say. All I want to do is just encourage you to connect with people, encourage you to connect with church, encourage you to connect with yourself find things that that motivate you find things that bring you happiness that make you smile find moments in the middle of the day even as crazy as they could be to have peace have a little bit of joy and if you're not able to do that on a day-to-day i want to encourage you to maybe find people maybe reach out to me but find people to have conversations with and tell them tell them what's going on in your heart Tell them what's happening in your mind. Tell them the things that you need to get off your chest. Don't just sit with them. I hope that this week is a good week for you. I hope that you're able to have moments of joy and moments of peace. I hope that you're able to find uh, that that thing that your heart is aching for. And even if, if you're not able to get there, that you can see a hope that it's possible. And I just want to remind you one more time that God loves you. He cares about you and he wants to not just join you, but he wants you to be a part of the plan that he has for you. And all it takes is a simple decision to say, you know what, God, I'm going to lay down my pride. I'm going to lay down uh, uh, my insecurities, my confusion. I'm going to lay all those things down and I'm I'm just going to I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask you what it is you want me to do. What do you want my future to look like? What do you want? my life to look like and god is god is amazing god is going to take that even that little bit could be five minutes where you just genuinely open up your heart to god and and you'll see god turn that into something huge and and he'll take that as long as we're genuine so um my time is almost up but i really just just wanted to tell you keep going don't give up don't let the depression and the anxiety and the stress take over you. There is a way out of it. Even if you're stuck in that muck, there's a way out of it. And the best way to get out of it is to open up, is to talk, is to realize that you have good things in your life. There is beauty all around you. You live in a beautiful state here in Washington and wherever you're watching us, I'm sure that there's beautiful place around you too. So it's important to keep all of those things in mind. And the most important thing is to connect, connect, connect. Find people who you can connect with. Find people who you share the same interests with. Find people who who just make you smile, who bring happiness to your day, who bring a smile to your face. It's important to have those people around you so that uh, during the times where we're feeling down, we can reach out and we can have someone give us a hand. I hope that even if you don't have anybody, that I could be that person right now and that I could be the one to remind you, hey, you're not alone. We're walking through this together. So if you need help, if you need someone to talk to, if you need somebody to just encourage you, someone to vent to, I encourage you to please reach out. Our information is right in the description. It's a quick way for you to reach out to us. If you're on our website, you'll see information there on how you can connect during the week. And uh, really, I just appreciate every single one of you who have made the time to watch this. And I just want to encourage you one more time. Keep going. Don't give up. This is going to be an amazing year for you. It might not look like it now. It's with everything that's going on, maybe all of your plans have been shattered. Everything has been broken down. I guarantee you God has something and it's waiting for you. It's ready for you. It's just up to you to open up your heart and say, God, 
I want to do what it is you want me to do. Give me the strength to do the things that you want me to do. Let me look at my life in a way where I realize that you've given me amazing blessings so that I can be strong and I can look past the things I don't want to do and do them, do them with joy, do them with peace, do them with gratitude, and just that I can come to find that purpose that you created me for.